What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another one. Hope all is well. As you can see right here, it appears that the ladies have cut their hair. The ladies of carbonation that are still there. You see a bag with um, locks. Um, that could be an indication that all three of them cut their hair, maybe four of them, because uh, Zoka is out, from my understanding. And what could this mean? You know, um, they just doing it in solidarity because um, Nature Boy had to cut his hair when he was in intake. So this is not the first time they have done this. You remember when Velvet cut her hair and then everybody in the camp cut their hair. So it's reminiscent of that. So I'm looking at it here <clears throat> and um, that appears what they have done. They have uh, cut their hair. And um, so hopefully that's all they do, you know, but they did say something here that I had mentioned before. Let me just go back. They said exactly all they all they need to do is keep low, work behind the scenes on his appeal and keep putting out all the good times with everyone, including the ex members who claim it was all bad. Y'all see how they did was put up a little four and a half minute uh, voice of some good times and look at how ruffled uh, some of them got even made reaction videos to it. But y'all also notice how they started saying how they missed it and were smiling and laughing at the good times too. Yes. Three will be free and come out even more stronger. Watch all the good, powerful ones had to suffer had to suffer the jail as well and excuse me that's how hold on, hold on a second that's how you know he started to be seen excuse me you know how that's how he started to be seen and made a change got chills watching these they are witnessing a legend in the making so they had they had posted that earlier but what i noticed is this now that he is incarcerated um everything they do is under the microscope and they can use it to their benefit now i know some people don't like my commentary but please don't take don't take my words out of context let me let me explain what i mean i said scott peterson scott peterson went has a strong possibility of beating his appeal. I said that in my last video. I said Scott, S-C-O-T-T, P-E-T-E-R-S-O-N, Scott Peterson has a bet, um, a good chance of winning his appeal. I didn't say Nature Boy had a good chance of winning his appeal. If you feel triggered by my video, stop watching um, because I'm going to block you. And you know who I'm talking about. Okay, don't put words in my mouth because it's going to get back to me. Okay, so I don't need you here. Um, I'm doing I'm doing really well without you. I don't need you here, but don't put words in my mouth. Now, does he have a? Let me just talk about the appeals for a minute for Nature Boy. I don't know what's going to happen in the appeals. I know that. He has a right to appeal his case. That's that's what people do when they get a guilty plea. It doesn't mean that he's going to win his appeal. No, but he has a right to appeal. See, people are getting it misconstrued. Excuse me, misconstrued here. That oh, if he gets an appeal, he's automatically going to get another trial. You need to educate yourself. They have Google out here for a reason. All you got to do is educate yourself or watch some YouTube videos from lawyers on what the appeal process mean. Okay. And what the appeal process mean. I was talking about Scott Peterson earlier. I said that um, if the DNA evidence, um, if his wife DNA evidence matched that, um, matched, uh, uh, matched the, uh, the new evidence, he could possibly get a new trial. And if so, he has a strong chance of beating it. I was talking about Scott Peterson. I wasn't talking about Nature Boy. And I think a lot of people know that, but. For some people on the short bus, they thought I was talking about Nature Boy. No, I was talking about Scott Peterson. So let's move on. Now, getting back to the appeals process for Nature Boy. Um, and I just happened to say if it was me, I would go 
under the radar. If I'm trying to help him out with the appeals process, because you see when they put a GoFundMe out there, they had it taken down. They have to go underground um, and keep stuff off the Internet. That's what I would do. So if you feel triggered by me saying that, I, it's nothing I can do. OK, just move on. And um, and that's pretty much it. There's plenty of other videos out there to watch. You don't have to watch mine. Um, I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to someone specifically. So that's what I wanted to say there. Um, I knew I was going to get a lot of backlash on this case. This is not like other cases I follow where people, um, you know, in the law and crime community, they know a lot about the process. Um, I had a lot of people here that didn't know anything about the process. And when I'm talking objectively, they get triggered. I knew that was going to happen in this nature boy sector. I just knew it was. Um, but I, if you don't know, I've been following legal trials for a very long time. I've already built up a following. I don't need you here. So I'm just telling you that for the people that get triggered, I don't. So the best thing for you to do is just move on, move on and, and do something else. But, um, watch something else. YouTube is a big place. And, um, if you're not here, I'm not going to miss you. YouTube is a vast place. Let me tell you. It really is. And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to say that. But as far as his appeal process, he has to go through the appeals. He got to hire a lawyer um, and go through the appeals and we'll see what happens. And I had mentioned Max B um, previously, AK. Well, his name is Charlie Wingate. Uh, he was a rapper out of Harlem. His name is Max B. He goes by Max B. That's his nom de plume. His nom de plume is Max B. And um, he was sentenced to 75 years in New Jersey. And he's coming home next year. <laughs> he's coming home. Um, he got a better lawyer. He worked his case. And he's coming home. Now, how long did it take him to do that? He's been in there. He's been in there for quite a bit of time now. He has. And um, these things just take time. It doesn't mean that I'm saying that Nature Boy can win his appeal. It's not what I'm saying. But he does need a pretty good attorney. And um, the ladies, they have a lot of power because a lot of people are still watching their every move. Just like I just reported here that they cut their hair. Everything they do um, gets attention now. OK, the cash cow is locked up. The cash cow is locked up. OK, the reason why I say the cash cow is locked up because everybody was focused on him when he was out. And I understand the other members are doing their thing now, but it, it's not quite like how he was doing it because every time he made a video, people was watching. Now, let me just say something for the people that's triggered. How do you make Nature Boy go away? The collective of people that's watching, stop watching. Stop watching and he'll go away. He won't have any power if they're not getting any views. Okay, just stop watching. Don't give him any energy. Don't give the movement any energy and it'll go away. But guess what? It's not going to go away because people find it entertaining. That's why. That's why I said that. And it's true. Like, uh, what, what makes you want to keep watching? Because you're interested in the storyline and it's entertaining to you. Okay, that's just what it is. And I'm not taking that back if you feel triggered. But please don't put words in my mouth. I said Scott Peterson could win his appeal. Not Nature Boy. And um, that's a fact. You know, um, if you follow the case, um, it's, it's a good chance that he might win his appeal, um, Scott Peterson. Um, but yeah, man, they cut their hair, dog. And I think they did it because when he when Nature Boy went to intake, he had to cut his hair. And um, yeah, he had to cut his hair. He had to cut his hair. And um so they probably did in solidarity, you know, just like I said, it's not the first time they have done it when Velvet cut, excuse me, uh, El Velvet cut her hair. Everybody else cut their hair. And I remember I was mad about it because Ra had such pretty hair and she cut her hair. You know, you remember when Ra came to the camp, how she had the nice, beautiful fro? They, she cut it. And I remember that like it was yesterday. And um, yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. But um, and I know the bison video probably triggered people, but so what? OK, so what? Um, 
like I said, if you if it triggers you that bad, I know that music probably triggered a lot of people. Just unsubscribe and go away. Um, because I blocked some people already. So I blocked some people off social media and different things like that. So if you can't, if you don't see me on social media, you've been blocked. Um, I'm trying to block as many people as I can on YouTube. Um, if this doesn't apply to you, I'm not talking to you, but it's a few people that it applies to. So I just wanted to say that. Um, and I have, I'm sorry I have to be that way, but everybody has an opinion. If you don't like the opinion, just move on, you know? Um, and that's pretty, that's what I do. I don't, I don't watch certain videos. The people that make videos on this subject matter, I don't watch everybody. They don't exist to me, you know, and that's the way it should be. Like, if you don't like when somebody make content, you should just not watch. Um, but like, it's just like Nature Boy. Some of you just can't stop watching. And he wouldn't have this much power as he had if people wouldn't be watching him. And myself included. We were all a part of this. Like, if you want his power to go away, stop watching his videos. If, if, they, may, if they put up videos and only get one view, then they'll go away. They'll do something different. Um, but the fact of the matter is he has even more clout that he's locked up now because people are still talking about it. They're not going to move on and do different and other stuff. They're not going to do that because why? It's still an interest in this subject matter, which I, I you know, like I, I have. Um, I have told people to do YouTube and stuff like that, and I told them you got to stay on one subject matter. And if that subject matter is working, keep do it. Do keep doing it. So you can't blame the vloggers for keep talking about this subject matter. It's just that it's it's still piping hot. People still want to hear it. So the vloggers are doing their job, you know. So, but it's um, so that's what I wanted to say about that. But if people stop watching and they just say, you know, collectively we're just not going to give this guy any more power, and we're just going to watch someone else, then it'll go away. That's how it worked. But he's hot in the algorithm still. So I just wanted to say that right there. Um, but I hope that this is all they will do is cut their hair. I hope that's it. I hope we don't get no strange news or anything like that. Um, and everything is all right. They, they can, they're allowed to do what they want to do. If they still want to stay in Georgia and support them, that's their business. They are grown. At the end of the day, we're not watching kids here. They're grown. Um, at any time, they can make a decision and go home if they want to. Um, but they're grown. And a lot of people that were there, they got out because the kitchen got too hot. That's why they got out. I already talked about those PPP loans. It's, it's a matter of public record. Yes, it is. It's a matter of public record. All you got to do is um, type in their government names and PPP loans, and their names are going to come up. They're on the list. So the government knows. Um, so hopefully they don't have any cases pending over their head in the future. But um, collectively, the group took in a, substan a substantial amount of PPP loans. And from my understanding, Nature Boy didn't take any out in his name. It's almost like he saw the writing on the wall in the future. But um, but yeah, so I wanted to say that right there. Um yeah, this has been a hell of a um it's been a hell of a case, man. Um and it's it's it, investigations are still ongoing because on um, the reason why people can't get certain things on the case right now is because he still has an appeal coming up. So they gotta keep stuff sealed uh, until then. Um so that's just um standard. That's just standard procedure. Um but yeah, man. This is something else. It's been a, it's been some case, man. It really has. Um, it's been some case, but I kind of knew it was going to be that way just because of who he is. I knew it was going to be a lot of drama surrounding this court case, but this is the first one that I follow like this. Usually when I follow court cases, I'm not, you know, it's just after that, I'm on to the next one, you know, um, You know, people agree to disagree when it comes to the verdict and stuff like this, but not quite like this. This was like this is like a cult in itself. Um, it's crazy. It's like I'm following a cult and there's a cult within a cult watching the cult. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but hey, man. 
it was um it was a hell of a ride but um what's next man um guess we go see what the ladies do um they said in that post you know they got to go under the radar but i think occasionally they will give updates here and there uh for their supporters and different things like that but um yeah man cut their hair man cut their hair i just hope that that's all they do you know i don't want to see this um in a certain way i really don't and then what it ends a certain way people still be talking about it this thing ain't never going away it's, it really isn't this is like a phenomenon it's never going to go away it's never going to go away it's never going to go away um but yeah i already talked about the appeals process it could take a while who know there's no timetable on it right now but he had a certain amount of time to file the appeal and i believe his lawyer did it before he um excuse himself from the case so but um yeah every um and every person that's convicted has the right to appeal their case that's just standard across the board so i just wanted to say that but yeah man um give me a like if you haven't done so already um yeah and subscribe hit the bell notifications so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops guys i'll see you in the next one peace